Now that you have the Fusion Archive file loaded on your screen, a couple of things may stand out. First, you might notice that not all the components are there, and that was as designed. We really didn't build every component. We built the components that were most important to designing the body itself. It's important to know where the wheels are located, what their diameter is, where the bumper is, and where all the other internal components are. We picked the ones that will most affect the shape of the body. You may have to move some of those components around based on your specific design. For example, there might be cases where people move the battery or the control box to better balance or better position things within the chassis. So, in order to adjust this model to fit your design, you may have to move some of these components around, and that's what we're going to do here. As you're moving components, it'll be important to understand how the view cube works because it's going to allow you to change the viewpoint you're looking at the car from to better position components. The view cube can be found in the upper right hand corner, and as you hover over it, you'll notice that a home button pops up and different components on the view cube will highlight, indicating that they're selectable. For example, I could pick right and rotate the model so that I'm looking at it from the right view. And once you're looking at it from a specific view, you may get additional arrows that you can use to rotate in 90 degree increments. For example, if I want to look at it from the top, I can click the arrow pointing at the top of the box and it will rotate 90 degrees to look at the top view. At any point, you can click the home button to return to a home 3D view. When you're ready to move components, you can right click in the graphics window and select move. The move dialog box will present it, indicating that nothing has been selected. You can simply left click on any component in the graphics window, and you'll see that the dialog updates with distance information and indicates that a single item is selected. You can zoom in on the model using the scroll wheel on your mouse. Scrolling the wheel away from you will make the model move away, Scrolling it towards you will bring the model closer. You can also press and hold your middle mouse button and drag to pan the model around to reposition it within the graphics window. This should give you a better view of your model for selecting components. In this case, the control box is made of two components, the bottom half which we already selected, and the top half. To add the top half to the selection set, simply left click. If for some reason you mistakenly select an incorrect part, you can remove an object from the selection set by left clicking on it a second time. In this case, I do want that top half, so I'm gonna left click on it to add it to the selection set. After selecting your components, you have a manipulator on the screen that allows you to move that in any direction. You have the arrows that if you left click and drag will move in the direction that they're pointing. You have the rotation rings that will allow you to rotate the model. And you have the plane option. This will allow you to move an object in a specific plane only in any direction. As you can see, as you move these around, you might find that some of the parts interact with each other. And this is why you'll want to use the view cube to reposition your viewpoint. I'm going to return to a right view and use this same plane movement option in order to position the model where I want it within the overall design. Now, just because it looks right from the right view doesn't mean it's exactly in the correct position. You may have to rotate your model to look at it from different orientations in order to notice that the part is, for in this case, not centered on the model. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and reposition my viewpoint so that I can see where I might want to position this within the model. Once you have your parts in the location you want, you can simply select OK to commit those changes. If you hover over the view cube and look at the home view, you can see where that model is positioned within the overall design in a 3D orientation. If you want to rotate the model to look at it in views other than what you can find on the view cube, you can hold shift down on the keyboard and press and hold your middle mouse button and drag your mouse to orbit around the model. Here you can see we've moved the control box towards the rear of the car and above one of the motors. You'll want to repeat this process for any parts you've moved for your design, and in this case, I'm going to build with the default model, so I'm going to right click on the screen and select undo to move my control box back to its original position.
once you move all your components so that they match your current design, you'll be ready to continue building your body.